Okay, this is our next project, Mundane Merit Badges, using humor and graphic design to make ourselves feel better. Part one. First of all, what is graphic design? Graphic design communicates ideas and messages in a visual way. It combines words and images in order to make the information more impactful. And you can see graphic design in everything from street signs to brand logos, book covers, movie titles, food packaging, it's everywhere. Now, during the pandemic, graphic designers have been using words and images and their sense of humor to create hilarious merit badges for everyday life situations. So these funny badges celebrate doing basic mundane silly things that under normal circumstances would not typically deserve a celebratory award. But during a pandemic, during a pandemic, we need all the encouragement we can get. So let's say, oh, take a look at this one down here in the bottom right, animal trapping. I am so good at that. I definitely earned that merit badge. And um, I don't know if I got seven hours of sleep last night, but I ate a vegetable. Way to go, Miss Bucknam. And on this one, ooh, ooh, I think I need to work on this merit badge, reduced screen time. That's not gonna be an important one this year. And over here, ooh, I am all set on toilet paper. So all set with that merit badge. So some examples for uh, students might be not fighting with your sibling, doing all your homework on time, cooking something on your own, or hey, logging into a Google Meet. You could earn a merit badge for that. So now it's time to brainstorm ideas for your very own mundane merit badges. So you're gonna go to the next task in Google Classroom. It's titled number two, brainstorming for mundane merit badges, and follow the directions there. This will be the first graded assignment. It'll be a classwork assignment, first graded assignment for this project. It will look like this. All right, I'll probably go over this with you in just a second. Um, but then we're gonna stop here until you have completed that brainstorming assignment on Padlet. And don't forget, after you do your brainstorming, you have to go back into Google Classroom and click Mark as Done. That's how you're gonna turn this in. All right, so we're gonna pause here and you're gonna do this assignment right now. So we're back. So hopefully you have done that assignment in Padlet. So now it is time for the next assignment in this project. You can start this now, but you have until um, your next class to complete it. You have the whole week to finish this. You're gonna start now though. This is what this assignment looks like in Google Classroom. I'll probably go over these directions with you in just a sec. But you'll notice down at the bottom, there are three videos. These videos will show you how to take a photograph of your artwork because you're gonna be doing some sketches and you need to photograph your sketches, add them to this assignment and turn them in. So if you're not sure how to do that, these three videos will show you how, all right? And there's three different ones. The first one shows you how to do it if you're on a Chromebook. The second one shows you how to do it if you have the Google app on your phone or the Google Classroom app on your phone, I should say. All right. Um, and the third one shows you how to do it on a MacBook. So you decide which way you're going to do it. Watch that video and get that done. So here in a nutshell is what you're going to make. First, you're gonna be doing some pencil sketches. You're just gonna draw in pencil on unlined paper. Then you're gonna go over those pencil lines with a skinny Sharpie. If you can't find a skinny Sharpie, there should be one in your kit. But if you can't find one, just use like a black ballpoint pen or a black colored pencil, something to make the lines really dark. Then you're gonna color them in and I'll show you a really great colored pencil tutorial video that shows you some really great techniques on how to color really well with colored pencil. Might be a little different than you think. Then you're gonna photograph your artwork. 
All right, make sure you watch the video so you know how to do that because then you need to attach that photograph to this assignment and you have to click turn in. Don't forget that. Even if you do all this work, if you don't click turn in after you attach it, you don't get credit for your work. Just a word of warning, I will not accept photographs that are not attached to this assignment. Do not email me photos. This is a graded classwork assignment. Your grade is based on these things, how clear your designs are. So your words and pictures need to be neatly drawn. Your photo needs to be close up, well lit, and in focus. And I will be grading the originality of your ideas. So you must draw a minimum of three mundane merit badges and let me know if you need any help. I'm here to help. That's my job. All right, see you later.